Hello, my name is Anthony Rowe from the AbletonCookbook.com, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to use Launchpad with drum racks, specifically how to add a little bit of extra functionality to those that that pairing. Um, so I'm going to quickly go over some stuff that was covered in the um, video tutorial that Novation put out about how to add a little bit of LED feedback to the launch pad. And then I'm going to show you a few extra things that I use myself. So um, hopefully this helps. So just uh, real quickly to introduce the launch pad for those of you that aren't familiar with it. Um, it's a product made by Novation, especially for use with Ableton Live. And one of the cool things I like about it, I used to use a monome. Um, I'm not sure I, I could show you, but I don't want to move the camera. Um, and one of the things that I like about it is that, about the, the launch pad as opposed to the monome, um, is that, first of all, uh, the launch pad has these different pages. So the first one is session view. Um, and if I press this, it's going to stop or whatever clip uh, I have it corresponds to this little button here. It has user one, which is actually optimized for drum racks. You can hear, whoa, you could hear, that was a little outside. Um, you could hear, that uh, it corresponds to a drum rack that I have on this channel right here. And, and then, um, let's see, user two, you can, basically program anything you want. So I use that for a lot of different stuff when I'm performing live. And then you have the mixer uh, page, which has, um, for example, the, uh, the um, volume for all the different channels, as well as a whole bunch of different control of pans and sends and all that good stuff. So, but today we're gonna be talking about user one. So I already discussed how it has, it has these different um, the ability to control these drum racks, but unfortunately, as you can see, there's no LED feedback. So I'm kicking this and there's actually no light going on. So the way to fix this is um, relatively easy, actually. So what we do is we, and this was covered once again in that Novation tutorial, but I'm just uh, just reiterating it here. We make another MIDI track, and I like to put it to the I like to put it kind of to the right of it, because um, I like to think of the signal going left to right always, and that's just a quirk of mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, this, we're going to make another MIDI track, we're going to open the I.O., which is actually just a command option I, or click this little guy right here, and then we're going to get the MIDI from this first channel. The idea being that the signal goes in here, and then it, it gets piped over here, and then we're going to send that signal straight back out to the launch pad. And then this is the this is the most important part. We're gonna have to make sure that this monitor is actually in, okay, or else it won't work. So now you'll see. Now you'll see that when I hit these, I'm getting um, LED feedback. So the thing that I actually don't like is I really kind of have a thing against this color. I really don't like this amber color. So what I realized is that you can actually, you can actually uh, change this color because what I realized is that the um, the way that the, the launch pad knows what um, what color to to respond with is actually through the velocity of the note it's getting back, and luckily live has a MIDI effect. If you go to MIDI effects here has a mini effect called fixed velocity. What this is normally used for is to take, it's very similar to compression, but for um, but for MIDI. So what it will actually allow you to do is to take, um, let's say notes of a whole bunch of different velocities or, or uh, uh, volumes, and basically scrunch them down into just one velocity value. So this one would be set at one. But what you'll notice is that I, if, as I turn this, and this, this works out high, this knob is actually going to tell you what velocity it, fix all the values, it fixes all the values at. So right now, you can see that as opposed to being amber, when I punch this, it actually, um, 
it actually is red now. I kind of don't like red either. So what you can do is you can actually just scroll through this and watch. So as I scroll through these, it changes value actually. But I really like green myself. That's the color that I like myself. But as you can see, actually these and these values are published on the internet, but I always forget them. So I usually just like to scroll through till I hit the one that I like. So now I have one that I... So this is a relatively simple thing, but for me it kind of makes a big difference. So that's one thing that I, that I uh, figured out how to do that I thought would make it a little bit more interesting to use this as a drum programming tool. Um, so one other thing that I really find restrictive about using the launch pad, especially for drums, is the fact that it is not velocity sensitive. So what this means is that no matter what, so I hit this really softly, it doesn't sound any quieter, I hit it really hard, it sounds exactly the same velocity. So this is one of the big things that people talk about um, as to why, for example, something like the MPC is so great because it has these velocity sensitive pads. So. Um, one thing that I realized I could do is use this same MIDI effect and basically just give myself a whole bunch of options so that I can set the velocity before I play the note and then it will actually just, um, it will respond with, with that velocity value. So instead of actually hitting it harder or hitting it softer, I can just change a knob value and that will make it you know, softer or louder. And so that's not as intuitive, but it does allow you to have some flexibility. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do that. So I'm going to actually rename this guy. Just call this IO. That way I know what's going on here. And I'm just going to make one more MIDI track. And the way you make a MIDI track is Command Shift T. Make one more MIDI track. I'm going to put it ahead of this guy. Just like I said, for my own little, my own little keeping track of things. 